Hello guys, I'm Nazmul Hassan and welcome to another video of Internet Engineering Lecture Series. And this video will center around two parameters of my maintenance system. So I will discuss about CCL, which stands for Channel Capacity Loss, and MEG, or Mean Effective Gain. So let's discuss CCL first. Imagine we have the simplest case of 2x2 two two MIMO antenna system. All right? Now, this MIMO antenna system can transmit data, and the channel capacity is defined as the data rate that can be supported in a particular uh, channel. And that channel, obviously, is a fading environment. Now, the channel capacity loss is the maximum allowable transmission rate for which the signal can be transmitted over this particular my maintenance system. So this is the upper value of the allowable transmission rate. And for practice, I mean in practical my maintenance system, the value of CCL should be always less than 0.4 bit per second per hertz. If it exceeds this value, then this is not a reliable my maintenance system. All right? And any microwave device, whether it's an antenna, filter, resonator, or you just name it, any microwave device can be characterized by a scattering matrix, matrix or S matrix, right? Now this universal S matrix is very handy when we measure a particular device, for example an antenna, by vector network analyzer, it will give us the S parameter file of the antenna directly and so it's very convenient to define any feature of your antenna in terms of s parameter only so our next goal is to define the ccl in terms of s matrix or s parameters so that we can directly calculate ccl from the measured data all right so let's do that CCL is basically defined as minus of log of 2 times determinant of a matrix. It is psi r matrix. Now, this is a 2 by 2 matrix, which is the correlation matrix of receiving my antenna system, which can be defined as 511, 512, 521, and 522. Since it's a 2x2 two two matrix, so it will have four elements, all right? And we can further decompose these four elements into, in terms of S parameter. Phi11 can be described in terms of S parameter, one minus of modulus of S11 whole squared plus modulus of S12 whole squared. And phi22, can be defined as 1 minus of S22 whole squared plus S21 whole squared. And then we have the 512, which can be defined as the complex conjugate of S11 times S12 plus complex conjugate of S21 times S12. And in the similar manner, we have phi to 1 equal to complex conjugate of S22 times S21 plus complex conjugate of S12 times S21. So that is how uh, we define the four elements in, in terms of these S parameters. So whenever we measure an antenna, it will give us the S parameter data and we can directly calculate the CCL from this equation. And in the back lab, you can plot it. You can just simply plug in the values from these equations in this matrix and take the determinant and multiply it by, and, I mean, take the log of two. And you will have a, a plot like this, it's a frequency axis, and then you can plot it CCL in terms of BPS per Hertz. All right? 
You can plot it in the MATLAB. Now our next topic is imaging. So, ABG can be defined as basically for two ports in my maintenance system. We have two ports, right? In my maintenance system, it will have multiple ports. So, ABG is defined for each port. For example, this is port 1, port 2, and uh, ABG for the ith port can be defined as 0.5 times. 1 minus of Sij modulus of square, I mean, I, I is the uh, ith number of port. For example, if you are calculate, calculating the energy for the first port, then I will be equal to 1. And if you are calculating for the second port, then it would be 2. Alright, so this is the port number. And then you'll have the big N, which is the total number of antennas in a MIMO antenna system. All right? So whenever you are calculating the MEG1, for example, for the first port, then you take S12. And whenever you are calculating the MEG for the second port, you will take uh, S2. Uh, this is actually uh, j equal to 1, so you will take s21 plus s22, uh, all right? And you can plot it in the MATLAB. Basically, the horizontal axis is the frequency axis, and then you can plot it, the image in the vertical axis, it's in dB. So you will get a plot for, for example, this is MEG1 for the first port and another plot for the second port. And then you will take the difference MEG1 minus MEG2. You will have another plot like this, for example. And for practical my antenna system, the difference between the MEG of the port should be always less than 3 dB. So this criterion should be satisfied, should be satisfied in order to operate reliably in practice. All right? So basically the mean effective gain is nothing but a measure of the received power level of a diversity antenna or MIME antenna to, uh, to that of an isotropic radiator. All right? And the difference between the MEG of the ports of the MIME antenna should be always less than 3 dB. So these two parameters are very important because whenever we write a paper, research paper about MIME antenna system or technical reports, we do provide this data. And uh, I hope that uh, this short lecture has clarified the concept of MEG and the CCL and how to plot it in the MATLAB. And I have another, I mean, more antenna engineering lectures in my video channel. And if you'd like to see such lecture in the future, just write down your private to topic in the comment section, and I'll try to follow up later. Thank you for staying with me.